We got Tennessee. We got Miami. Miami's favored by one. The over under is 36 and a half. Thoughts on this one? How's, I don't know how Miami's favored by. I don't know either. No, I don't. I am not excited to watch this game. Um, nope. So this is this one's going to be kind of a stinker. Uh, I am going to take Tennessee. Like they at least have their full complement of weapons. Tony Pollard's been looking pretty good. If you can get Will Levis to just control the ball and not turn it over, I think you'll be just fine. Um, on the flip side, if you're Tennessee, you you are going to control the run game, right? You want to stop A-Chan and Raheem Mostert and force whoever is under center to throw to beat you. So there, I think we'll see a lot of eight, even nine in the box, depending on what formations Miami's throwing out there and as Tennessee matches personnel. Um, but I think we're going to see a lot of stacked boxes and it's going to be on the quarterback of the Dolphins to win this game for them. Yeah, and, and the fact that it's that we're referring to it as the quarterback of the Dolphins, whoever that may be, uh, come right. Monday night, leads me to, to lean on the Tennessee side of things there as well. Um, yeah. Yeah, at this point, um, yeah, I'm still starting Tyreek just from what we talked about earlier, right? One touch ability, like, really have a hard time, you know, not going that route, uh, starting a Chan, um, outside of that, I'm looking to pivot on, on other dolphins, fantasy, uh, players here, Tennessee. I think we may see another good, good performance out of Deandre Hopkins playing Tajay Spears or not Tajay Spears, Tony Pollard. Um, and we'll see what happens with Calvin Ridley. Uh, 